Hey, this is Bremster, and I'm starting a new genuinely approachable Sudoku video, this time with the puzzle for the 23rd of September 2024, which is called All Threes by Bill Murphy. Um, below in the description, there will be links to all of the puzzles by date, um, as well as to the genuinely approachable Sudoku homepage, where you'll be able to find a whole bunch of uh, uh, useful utilities, including tracking sheets and links to other solvers who solve them, as well as to their own ho uh, YouTube channel where they demonstrate what they did with the puzzles. So, um, yeah, that's where um, where I'll be below. But this is just me sharing my solve of these. I don't speed solve these. Um, I keep getting people asking me, it's like, well, why don't you go for the times on these? I don't enjoy speed solving. I I just don't enjoy it. So why would I go for it? I'm happy to like publish my times, but I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to push for, best time at all. Um, I want to explain what I'm doing and try and explain the logic rather than push for any super fast time. I'm going to, uh, so rules on this one. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Digits must not repeat along indicated diagonals. So that's the blue lines, not the indicated diagonals by the arrows, the indicated diagonals by the blue lines. Um, so uh, and digits along diagonals must sum to the given total. They just say indicated diagonals and then digits along diagonals. Not clear, but if you know the rules, then you know. Basically, it's saying the clues outside the grid are indicating that these must sum to 17, these must sum to 7, these must sum to 3, these must sum to 23. Digits may not repeat along indicated diagonals. These look like the indicated diagonals. They're not, um, it, because arrows are pointing to them. These are the indicated diagonals. And these are the um, the ones where digits along diagonals must sum to the given total. It's not very clear, but that's what's happening. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. These are two different digits that sum to three. The minimum digits I could use are one and two. They sum to three. Now, 23. The maximum I could make three different digits is seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine sum to 24. I have to reduce one of those digits by one to get down to 23. I can't repeat digits in a box. So if I reduce the nine, I'd have two eights. If I reduce the eight, I'd have two sevens. So I must reduce the six and this become uh, the seven to a six and this becomes six, eight, nine. Here, the minimum I could use is one, two, which is three. I have to increase one of those by one to get to four. If I increase the one, I'd end up with two twos. This is one, three. 24, I've already said, is seven, eight, nine. They're the maximum digits. So those are what they are. Um, this isn't the seven. Um, this isn't the nine, seven. Okay, the minimum is one, two, three. I have to increase one of those digits by one. I can't increase the one or the two. Seven is one, two, four. 17 is eight, nine, the maximum digits. Um, this can't be the one. Uh, actually, I'm not sure what's going on here. 16, the maximum is 17, which is eight, nine. I have to reduce one of those by one. So this becomes seven, nine. Six is the absolute minimum, which is one, two, three. This can't be the three. This can't be the two. Okay, I need something to open this up. Ah, the seven looks down, making this the nine and this the seven. The nine looks up, making this the eight, which takes eight out of those. Um... The seven looks up, making that the nine and that the seven. The nine looks down the diagonal, taking nine out of there. This is the six, eight pair, making that the nine, which looks up, making this the eight and this the nine. The something is going to continue to break this open, but I'm not sure what yet. So this is a one, three pair. I there's probably this is a one two. There's a two in one of those. Three has to be in one of these three because three is in one of those and three is in one of those. So I can't put three in any of those. This is an eight by Sudoku. Nine is in one of those two by Sudoku. Nine has to be on this diagonal. Nine is in one of those two by Sudoku. 
Is it digits that need to go on diagonals? Maybe? But these, I need to put a three in here somewhere. And it can't be here. This can't be one, two, three. It could be four, five. It can't be six, seven, eight, or nine. This is only four or five. What's this one? Now, this one could be other things. Oh, this one makes this two. It was a scanning problem, which makes this four, which makes this five. The four takes four out of those. The one makes that the two, taking two out of those. These are one, three pairs. But the one is looking up, making that the two, that the one, which is looking across, making that the three and that the one. The three is looking down, making that the one and that the three. Now I've done all of the little killer clues and it is just down to Sudoku. Four and four makes this the four. I missed this one. I, there's something about given digits. These are two, five, and six. There's no two in either of those because of these twos. This is the two. This is a five, six, but the five on the diagonal makes that the six and that the five. Okay. Um, this row is missing a six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, three, and seven. And the seven looks across making that the three and that the seven. One, two, three, four, five, three, five, and seven. But there's no five in either of those. So that's the five. This is a three, seven. Not sure on that one yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, six, and seven. There's no three there. So these are one, two, and nine. There's no nine there. Yeah, not sure. One, two, three, I need to put a four in one of those two, five in one of those two, six, oh, this is a four, six pair, so this is five, eight. So if this is five, eight, this is one, three, nine, there's no one there, there's no three there, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. So six is in one of those two. Five is in one of those two. Eight is in one of those two. No. Something weird. This is four, six, this is a six, eight pair, six, eight. I need to put a four in this bottom row and I can't put it in either of those because this is a six, eight. That's the four, which means this is the six which means this isn't the six, this is the six, this is the five. These are one, two, three, four, and eight. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, and seven. There's no three in either of those. That's the three looking up, making that the seven and that the three, looking back down, making that the four and that the seven. This is really nice. The six is looking down the diagonal, making that the eight and that the six. And I know what these three digits are. They're one. I've already got a two on the diagonal. Three. I've got a four, a five, a six, three, one, three, and seven. And then I've got eight and nine. These are one, three, seven. There's no three there. There's no seven in either of those. So this is one, three, and seven. The seven is looking up saying that's not a seven. The three is looking up saying that's not a three. The six, seven pair makes that the three. The six makes this the eight. The one says that's not a one. The three takes three out of there. This one nine pair, which is resolved, but also makes that the three. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, not sure, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, eight, and nine. The two and the nine in the row already make that an eight. The two, nine, I'm not sure. But is it this diagonal now? Because one, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine. These are five, eight, and nine. There's already an eight looking at both of these. So this is a five, nine pair. This is the eight. This is the five. The five, nine pair is resolved by that five. Nine, five, which makes this two and nine. Uh, the five makes this four and five. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, which makes that seven and six. Um, these are two, four, and eight. So two, four, eight. There's no eight in either of those. So that's the eight and the four. This is one, two, three, four, five. This is the eight. These are triple. Ah, oh, the four is looking down, making that the two and that the four, which looks up saying that's not the two. 
not seeing it. So one, two, three, four, six, and seven. The four and the six makes that the seven, taking seven out of those. The four is looking down, making that six and that the four. Uh, no. So these are one, two, and five. The two and the five makes this the one, take the one out of those. The one looks up, making this the nine, this the two, this the one. The two looks down, making this the five and this the two. And that is the correct solution. Not super fast, but I was trying to explain how the min-max um, reductions work. Um, a lot of people would just write these in as one, two, eight, nine, one, two, four. I'm trying to explain what's going on. Um, that will slow me down. And I missed that one for like a minute and a half. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that one. Thanks, Bill. Um, and there'll be another puzzle, which I will record later. Now we have the puzzle for the 24th of September 2024, which is called If You Ain't Dutch by Philip Newman. I struggle with Dutch whispers, but I will see how we go. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply, and then we've got digits in cells directly connected by an orange line must differ by at least four. So um, these digits must have a difference. Yeah, basically these must have a difference of at least four. Um, that's the way it works. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. A five on a Dutch whisper line is fairly well um, known because what is four different from five? If I was to subtract four from five, I would go all the way down to one. If I was to add four, I go all the way up to nine. Everything else is too close. So this must be a one or a nine. Four, I can't subtract. I have to add. So these become an eight or a nine. And the one nine here makes this the eight and this the nine. Five here means this is one nine, but the nine here means this is one and this is nine. Six, I can't add to six because nine is only three away, so I have to subtract. These become one and two. The one here means this is the two and this is the one, which means this is the nine and this is the one. Cool. Now, eight, I have to subtract. I can't add. So one, two, three, or four. So this is one, two, three. It can't be one. So this becomes two or three. Now, the furthest... It so this has to be higher than two. So if I add it six, seven, eight, or nine, and it can't be six, eight, or nine, this is a seven. Seven, it could be either. Because seven is five away from two or four away from three. But it couldn't be anything other than six, seven, eight, or nine. They'd all be too close to two or three. Now, this is a triple, actually. One, two, three seven, eight, and seven and eight are too close to nine. This is the three, this is the seven, eight, but seven, eight is fine for either of these, by the line at least. Six I have to subtract, this is one or two, and the one makes this the two. Um, this triple maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two and three are too close, so this is the seven, and I can take seven out of those. Seven could go next to either two or three, so I'm not sure about that. Four, I can't subtract. I have to add. This becomes eight or nine. The nine makes this the eight, so this has to subtract. It's one, two, three, or four. It's not four. This is one, two, or three. This now has to add. Now, it has to be at least five, so this is five or seven. If this is one, I could go five, but if this is one five, this would be nine. That seems to be okay. Oh, it can't be a five. This is a seven because of the five here. So this is seven. So I can't add, I have to subtract. If I subtract four from seven, this is one, two, or three, and this is a one, two, three triple. Okay. This can't be a three. So these... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, six, and nine. Well, there's no four there. So four is in one of those two. There's no six here. If this was four, this would have to be eight. No, I'm not sure. Let's look at this row, maybe. These are three, six, seven, and eight. There's no seven there. This can't be three. It'd be too close. There's no six in either of those. This is seven or eight. So this can't be seven or eight. And it can't even be six. This is the three. Taking three out of both of those. This becomes the six because this becomes a seven, eight pair. That takes six out of there. This is a four, nine. Four, nine looks up making that the six. This is weird. This is a four by Sudoku. Actually, let's do more Sudoku. This is a five. This is a one, two, three. And the one must be in one of those. Let's do more Sudoku. These are two, three, 
four, five, six, two, three, eight, and there must be an eight in one of them. So this, I've got to add at least four. So this is six, seven, eight, or nine. It can't be six. This is seven, eight, or nine. So this has to subtract. So it's one through five. Because if I make it as far away as possible, so if it's seven, it's one, two, or three. If it's eight, it's one, two, three, four. And if it's nine, it's one, two, three, four, five. But it can't be one, four, or five. This is two or three, and the two makes this a three. Now, three can be next to any of seven, eight, nine, but it has to be seven, eight, nine. One, two, one and two are too close. Th four, five, and six are too close. This is seven, eight, nine, giving me a seven, eight, nine triple. One of these is nine. This can't be a seven. Oh, it can't be seven or eight. That's the nine. There's no nine there. This is a seven, eight pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine go into those. This is a nine by Sudoku. So nine comes out of those. The six makes that the five and that the six. Nifty. The seven actually makes that the eight and that the seven, which makes that the eight and that the seven. This is a triple, which is one, three, and four. There's no three here. What's the triple here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, four, six. There's no four here. There's no six here. So the one, four pair makes this the six. This can't add because everything would be too close. So I have to subtract four from six. This becomes one or two, and it's not a one. This is a two, which makes this a one. This is not a one. So this is the one by Sudoku. The two, three pair, not sure. So this has to add, so this is six or higher, and it can't be six, so it's seven, eight, nine, it can't be seven, there's a seven in the box. Oh, this nine makes this a four, so this has to add, this is eight or nine, and it can't be nine. So this isn't the eight, this is the eight. The four, of course, made this the nine. The four looks across saying, that's not the four. This has to subtract from eight, so it's one, two, three. Now I've got one, two, three, four. This is a five, and five can only go next to one and nine. So this is one. This can't be a one, so this is the nine. This is really cool. This is a three. This is a two and a three by Sudoku, making this a two and this a three. The three means this isn't the three. This is one, four. These are two, six, and seven. There's a six in both of those, so those aren't the six. This is the six. The two is looking down, making that the seven and that the two. This, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 2 and 8. The 8 is looking up, making that the 2 and that the 8. These are 1 and 3. The 1 is looking up, making this the 3 and this the 1. Now, these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, but 7 is too close. So this is the 5, which must go next to the 9. The 8 would be too close, making... No, I've broken it. That was not 5, 7. This is 3, 5... But three is too close to one. That's the five. Five can't, is too close to eight. That's still the nine. This becomes the three. Do it correctly. One, two, three, four, eight. And the eight makes that the four and that the eight, which makes that the one, which makes that the four and that the one. There is a logic about alternating high, low I could have used here, but um, I didn't need to. Didn't need to. So I'm not going to explain that. Maybe two, four, Eight. The eight here says no eight here, no eight here. This is the eight. And again, that was because of this. The two, four is resolved by the four. This is the two. This is the four. These are three, seven, and nine. There's a seven and a three. So that's the nine. Take out the nine. And the seven makes that the three and that the seven. That is another very cool puzzle. Um, so the trick about alternating high-low is anything along a Dutch whisper line must alternate high-low unless it swaps with a with a five. So when I had this actually going low, something, something low, um, I couldn't alternate high, low. So something had to swap it. And the only way to swap it was to go um, to have a five causing an interruption in the alternation between high, low. So something in here had to be five because these were um, not too apart. Um, you can use that because you can see here, low, 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 high, high. Um, anything that doesn't have a five on it is, is high, 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 low, low. Um, 
low, 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 high, high. That's forced if there's no five on the line. Um, when you've got something like this, where there's two high digits that aren't just two apart, then you must have a five on the line. It's just a nature of Dutch whispers. Cool puzzle. Thanks, Philip. Um, let's see what tomorrow's is. Okay, now we have the puzzle for the 25th of September 2024, which is called Remote Sums by Clover. And I have to admit, this one, I'm not sure how this is going to work. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. And then there's Remote Sums. Call the digit placed in a cage N. Okay, you are N. Um, there is another digit X that is exactly N steps away in a straight line so that N plus X equals the clue given in the top corner of the cage. For instance, if a cage has a clue 5, let's use this 5, and you place a 3 in that cage, there must be a 2 exactly 3 steps away, so this could be a 2, 1, 2, 3, um, from the cage in a straight line. So 3 plus the 2 that is 3 steps away, sum to 5, and that makes the 5 cage work. Okay, I think I follow that. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, a 3 cage has to be 2 plus 1, or 1 plus 2. But I can't put a 1 in this cage. I can't put a 3 in this cage, or I'd have to put a 0 3 steps away. So this is a 2, and there is a 1 2 steps away, which must be here. Now, a 4 must be 3 plus 1, because... Yeah, a 4 must be 3 plus 1, because... If I put a two in here, I'd have to put two two steps away and I'd be putting two twos in the row. So a four must be three plus one. I can't put a one and then a, th oh, I, I can't put a one in this cage. So I can't put a one here and then a three one step away. So there's a three here because there's already one in the box. And then there's a one three steps away. I can't put a one here. So one, two, three, that's a one. Now this four cage must have a three one step away. And I can't put a three in either of those. So that's the three. Now, this five cage, well, it must be either, this must, each cage must contain a digit lower than its sum, because you may, then must add something, and I can't use a one, two, three, so this must be a four, because if I put a five here, there'd be a zero five steps away. If there was a six here, I'd need a minus one six steps away, that doesn't work. So there's a one, four steps away, one, two, three, four, I can't put a one here, so one, two, three, four, that's a one. And the six must contain a digit lower than a six. So this is a five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That can't be a one. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep, yeah, that is a one. Okay. Now, this must contain a digit lower than five. It can't be one, three. So it's two or four. If it's a two this becomes a three, or this becomes a three, or that is a three, so that would work. If it's four, one, two, three, four would need to be a one, or one, two, three, four, that would need to be a one. This could be either. Maybe it's down here. Right, yes, this one means this has to be a one or a two. Sorry, this has to be a one or a two, but it makes it a two, and I can't put a one here. This is the one. Now, the four is, again, can't be a two, two. This is a one, three, and I can't, ooh, I'm not sure about that one. But this 5 is 1, 3, or 4. It's not 1. This is 3 or 4. If this is a 3, I'm putting a 2, 3 steps away, which would be there. If it's a 4, I'm putting a 1, 4 steps away. 1, 2, 3, 4, that doesn't work. 1, 2, 3, 4, that doesn't work. This is a 3. I need to put a 2, 3 steps away. 1, 2, 3 doesn't work. So I have to go 1, 2, 3. That's a 2. That makes this a 1. And now I need to put a 3, 1 step away, which can't go in any of those. That's a 3. Now this has to be a 4 because I can't use 1, 2, 3, or 5. I need to put a 2, 4 steps away. 1, 2, 3, 4 doesn't work. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That is a 2. Now I need to put a 6 six, two steps away. One, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, I can't go this way. So, sorry, yeah, two steps away. One, two, that could be a six, or that could be a six. But the two makes this a four, which now means I need a one, four steps away. One, two, three, four doesn't work. One, two, it has to be down. One, two, three, four, that's a one. And by Sudoku, that is a one which means I need to put a 7, 1 away. 
in one of those. Oh, no, it, uh, it, it can't go in either of those. That's a seven. So that's a seven by Sudoku. One, two, three, four, five. These, well, this is an eight by Sudoku, and this is a six, nine. These are one, two, three, four, no, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a three or a five. If this is a, th a three would work because that would point at this four, a five would need a two, five steps away, which would have to go up one, two, three, four, five. That could be a two. Now this has to be a digit lower than six. It could be two or four. If this is two, there's a four, two steps away. Could put a four there, could, can't put a four there, can't put a four there. This is a two, this is a four. If this is a four, there is a two, four steps away. One, two, three, four doesn't work. That doesn't work. It'd have to go one, two, three, four. That could work. Okay, let's do more Sudoku. This is a three. Four is here, because four, four, four is in one of those two. There's a four looking up. So these, there's a two right here. One, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine go in. There's no eight there. <clears throat> two is in one of those two. Ah, the three is looking down, making that the five. So there is now a two five steps away. Can't go in either direction, left or right. So one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> That's a two, which puts two in one of those two. What are these digits? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Now I can't put a nine in a cage because I can't move nine away. This is a five or a six. So if it's a five, there's a four, five steps away. One, two, three, four, five. That works. A six would need to put a three, six steps away. One, two, three, four, five, six. That can't work because I can't go down, up, left, or right. This is a five and it's pointing at its four, but this is the nine. This is the six. There's no nine in either of those. Six, six. Oh, the six here is looking down, making that the nine and that the six. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, and nine. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Three is now in one of those two. Four is in one of those. Is it this eight? One, it can be two, three, four, five. Five or six, seven. It's only two or five. Nine in this row is in one of those two. So if it's a two, it's pointing at a six, two away, which it could do there. If it's five, it's pointing at three, five away. Well, it can't go this way because that's only four away. Can't go this way. So one, two, three, four, five. That can't be a three. This is a two. It has to point to a six, two away. That's not a six. That's not a six. That's a six. So this is, oh, where's five in this row? This is the five, this is the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight, nine pair. These, one, two, these are six and seven. The six makes that the seven and that the six. <clears throat> this is the only cage I haven't resolved, assuming I haven't made a terrible error, which is possible. One, two, three, four, five, and seven go into those. The seven is looking at making that the five and that the seven. One, two, three, four, these are eight and nine. Oh, the five makes this the three. Two, no, it's not twos. I mean, maybe it's twos, but I don't think it's twos. If this is a two, I need to put a four, two away, which would be there. If this is a four, I need to put a two, four away. One, two, three, four, no. One, two, three, four, no. That, that has to be a two. And then the four has to go there. This is now the two, and that's all the twos done. These, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight and nine. The eight makes that the nine, and that the eight. That puts nine in one of those two. These, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's no four there. 
There's no five there. Five, yeah, five is in one of those two. I've done all the clues, so now it's just Sudoku. Which, once again, I am failing at. Three is in one of those two. What are these digits? Three, four, five, nine. Well, there's no three there. There's no four there. No five there. This is not helping, is it? Well, it does put five in one of those two, which puts five right here. Yeah, I had that by Sudoku if I'd paid attention. Have I done all these clues? Four. Have I done all these clues or am I... Or am I just deluding myself? There's a four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. No, there is... I think I've done all these clues. Yeah, there's a six, two away. Hang on, there has to be a six, two away. That has to be a six. So that's a three. These are one, two, three, four, eight, nine. There's no four there. So this is an eight, nine pair. So one, two, three. This is a three. This is not a three. This is a three. This is a four nine pair. So this is the five. There's no five here. This is the five. The four six means this is eight or nine. So it's nine. This is eight and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven go in. The six makes that the four and that the six. That's not the four. That's the four. This can't be the nine, that's the eight, that's the nine, which makes that the nine and that the eight. This, one, two, three, four, five, six, which makes that seven, that six. The seven makes that the eight and that the seven. This row, one, two, three, is a four, nine, four, nine. I'd missed that I hadn't done that one yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is an eight and that is the solution to the puzzle. I don't mind taking a little extra time on that one. That one was something I've not seen before. And honestly, it's kind of tricky to know which ones you've done and which one you haven't. Because when you put a digit in by Sudoku, you've then got to realize you haven't done it. Possibly I should have highlighted the ones that I had or hadn't done. I think the way I probably should have done this is highlighted the ones I hadn't done and then unhighlighted them when I'd done them. But very, very cool constraint. I like it a lot. Cool. Thanks, Clover. A um, couple more puzzles to go in this one. And yeah, a couple more puzzles to go. Okay, on the 26th of September, Bill Murphy got right back to it, which is the name of the puzzle he released on that date. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply, and then we've got digits in the top left of cages must appear in the cage. So this cage will contain 137, this will contain two twos, two sixes, and a seven. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we know these are 137. I don't mind marking triples. Um, okay, not sure. So we. how am I going to kick this off? This is 468. This is 137. So these are going to be 2, 5, and 9. That's not really helping me. Okay, so... Two is up here. So I can't put two here, but I need to put two twos in this cage. I can only put one here. So this must be a two and there must be a two in here. Now there's got to be two sixes and I can only put one six in here. So this is the six and this is two, six, seven. There you go. Okay. So, right. I can, this has to be one, two, and three because I've got to put three different digits and this has to be the one, two because I can only... I. 
the the digit I've I've got to put two ones, two twos, and a three in. I can't repeat the one or the two in here. So this has to be a one, two, three, and this has to be a one, two. And the two here means this is the one and this is the two. I can do the same here. This has to be the four, five, six, and this has to be the four, five in order for that to work. Um, this isn't the six, so this is a four, five pair. The two is looking up saying no two here. The two is saying no two here. The six is saying that's the seven. This is the two six. Okay. Now, this is four, six, eight. How's that going to work? There's no six here. This two is saying there's no two here. Or more importantly, it's saying there's no two here. This is the two. This is a one, three. This one is saying no one here. The seven is making that the three. This is a one, seven, which puts one down here, interestingly enough. But this is a two, because I have to put two in this cage and there's no two there. So the one is in one of those. This is the same. This is three, five, eight, and this is three, five. Three, five, eight. There's no three in those. That's the three. The five, eight takes eight out of those. This becomes the eight. The four, six. Not, I'm still not sure, you know. Five, eight makes this four, which makes this five, which makes this four, which takes four out of those. The five, six takes six out of there. The four, eight makes that the six. Four, eight is resolved by the four, eight and four. The five makes that the eight and that the five. The five also makes that the three and that the five. The five makes that the six and that the five, which takes five out of there. Five also isn't there. That's the five from the two nine. The two makes that the nine and that the two. How do I resolve the rest of it? Well, I can't put two or five in that cell. So this is a two five pair. The five is looking up, making that the two and that the five. And now I've got all the cages. Well, there's no seven there. That's the seven. And now I've got all the cages. Or no, I've got to put a five right there. Now I've got all the cages done except for the pairs, which will resolve by Sudoku. So now I'm basically down to Sudoku. Eight, eight. That's not it. Five, no. Three, three. That's a three. So three is in one of those two, but the three looking across means that's a three. That's the one. That's the three. Three is in one of those two. Can I do similar? Five, five, five is in one of those two. Two, 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 it's not that. What did I get? I was able to put a three here. Or something. This is a triple. One, seven, nine. 7, 9 looks down, making that the 1. This is a 7, 9. There's a 2 in one of those. These are 2, 7, 9. But again, the 7, 9 is looking down, saying that's the 2. This is a 7, 9. The 7 is looking down, making that the 9. That 7, that the 9. So these are... Oh, the 6 is looking up, making that the 2 and that the 6. And this is an 8. This is a pair... One, two, three, four, five. And the five is looking across, making that the four and that the five. This is the nine. This is a triple. No, this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six and nine. The six is making that the nine, which makes this the six. Nine, nine, nine is in one of those two. Oh, the five is saying that's not the five, that's the five. One is in one of those three. Well, let's look at this pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, one and seven. That's not resolved. Mm, I don't like it when you've got something really cool like this that just dries up. One is right here because one can't be in those or there. So one, two, three, four, five. These are seven, eight, nine. There's no eight in any of those. Oh, that's not too bad. So the seven, nine means this is four or six. The six is looking down, making that the four, that the six, that the four. Now I've got pairs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The six again is looking down, making that the seven and that the six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight and nine. Don't know what to do with that. It's nice when the Sudoku continues and doesn't just become there. 
Um, so I'm just picking a quadruple and resolving it. Three, four, eight, nine. Well, there's no nine in there. So there is a nine in there, but that I knew. There's no four there. There's no three there. That's not that helpful. There's no four there. So these are three, four, eight. Well, yeah, these are three, four, eight. There's no three there. It's not doing anything, is it? So where's the clean resolve? Because these cages give you some really nice, like the four, five, six, and the four, five, really clean. But where's the clean resolve to the puzzle? Three it makes this one and this three, which looks like making that the seven and that the one. So this is four or eight for the column, which doesn't resolve. It's not a clean resolve. Something has to be clean, right? This isn't just going to boil down to hunt and peck. So the quadruple in this column, one, three, eight, nine. There's no three in it. So three in this column is there, taking three out of these. These This is a four, eight, this is a nine. The three looks across making this eight and this four. This is now the three and this is a one, seven. So this is the seven and this is the one making that the seven. It's not too bad. The seven makes that the nine and that the seven. It's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the six, this is the two. These are one, two, three, four, one and nine. So this is the one and the nine. Um, I don't know. One, two, three, four, four one and seven. So the one looks like making that the seven and that the one. Uh, these are four, six, eight. The six says there's no six there, so that's the six. The nine makes that the eight and that the nine, which makes that the four and that the eight, which makes that the four and that the eight. Eight minutes and nine seconds. Um, I thought the logic around the cages was really clean, um, but once again, it was um, like 90 seconds of really nice logic about cages, and then it was just a, a tricky classic Sudoku, which I don't find as interesting. Um, if I'm going to do a classic Sudoku, I just want to do a classic Sudoku. But, oh well. Um, let's see what tomorrow's puzzle is like. Okay, now we've got the puzzle for the 27th of the 9th, 2024. This will be the last one on this video, which is a between lines puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules apply, and then digits along a line must be uh, have values strictly between the values in the circles at the end of the line. So, for example, if this was 2 and 7, then these would have to be from 3, 4, 5, and 6, because those are the only digits that are between 2 and 7. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So 5, 6 is on the line, so this has to be higher than 6, so this is 7, 8, or 9. 5, 4, this has to be lower than 4, this is 1, 2, or 3. 8, this has to go down. Um, 8, 7, 6, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it can't be 4 or 2. I have no idea where the flow on this puzzle is. I really don't. 8, 7, 6, 5, this is 1, 2, 3, or 4, it's not 2, but... I could see five is not in any of those. Five can't be here because then these would all have to be from six, seven. So five is in one of these two. Five is now down here, but not here. So something is going on. Four is in one of these two, but four can't be here because four um, isn't between five and whatever this is. So this is the four. Can I do more with that? How did I get that four with those? I can do the same here. Six is here, but I can't have four and six both on a line with a five at the end because this has to go down. No, wait. Right, five, four, this has to be lower than four. This can't be the six because six isn't between the digit that's lower than four, but I can do better than this. Five, four, these are all different. This has to be lower than four, but if this is a three, these are all four. These are three and two, and this is a one. And the same here. Five, six, these are seven and eight, and this is a nine. That is completely forced. It had to be, because there's no other digits I can put on it once this is going up. There's no three here. This is one or five. 
Right. The two is looking down, making that the three and that the two. The eight is looking up, making that the seven and that the eight. Right. Of course. Now, two must go up. Three, four, five. This is six, seven, eight, or nine. It's not seven or eight. This is six or nine. The six is looking up, making that the nine. So this is basically anything but a one or a two or a nine. Have I got this wrong? Three, four, five. It feels like I'm making, I've made a mistake here. It's one of those things where you just get that weird taste in my mouth that, that I've made a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are one and three. These are two, seven, and eight. There's no eight there. No two there. There's no eight there. This is the eight. This is a two, seven. This is a seven. This is a two. This is one and five. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine go into those. Something is very weird here. If this was eight, seven, six, this can't be a five. These would all have to be from six and seven. This is the one, this is the five. Six, seven, eight, nine. This can't go up. Yeah, six, if this went, if this was a higher digit than six, this would be seven, eight, nine. It can't be. So these go down and they can't be five. So these are four, three, two. This is a one. These are two, three, four. There's no two here. There's no three here. There's no two or four here. This is the three, four, and two. Four, these can't go down. If this was lower, then this would be three, two, one, and this would have to be a zero. So these go up. The minimum they could be with a five here is six, seven, eight. This is a nine. These are six, seven, eight. The six and the eight makes that the seven. There's no seven here. The eight makes this the six and this the eight. This is very clean. It just a little counterintuitive. I just had to figure out what's going on. I still have this weird feeling I've made a mistake, but it's got beautiful flow. So I'm thinking now I haven't. One, two, three, four, five, one, five, and seven. Well, there's no seven there. So seven is in one of those two. Now this can't be a one because there's no digits between two and one. There's no one here. There's no four here. This is three. So these are between three and eight. So four, five, six, and seven are the only possibilities. Five, six, and seven means this is a four. I can take four out of here. There's no five here. I said no five here. Why did you take out the wrong digit? Because I typed the wrong digit. These are one, two, and three. But one is not between... Right, this is the three because it's the only digit that's between the two and the nine. The three comes out of here. The three makes this the one and this the three. This is so nice. Nine is in one of those. I d mm. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, and nine. Ah, again. Except I'm still using between line logic a little bit here. If this was two, five, these would all have to be three, four. This is the seven. So this is a one, five pair. There's no seven here. And these are from three, four, five, and six. Well, there's no three here. There's no five or six here. This is a three or a four. There's no four or five here. This is the six. I can take the six out of here. This is a... So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no eight there. But nine is not between one and eight. That's the seven. So there's no seven in either of these. This is very, very neat. Sort of. It feels very weird. These are one, six, seven, and eight. Now, I can't use a seven in either of these. One and eight are excluded because that's what's on the end of the line. That's the six, which makes that the seven. So six and seven comes out of each of these. This is a one, eight pair, which I don't know how to resolve. What is going on? I'm getting these pairs which don't seem to do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, five, six, and nine. There must be a six in here. It's not there. So this is the six. This is one, five, nine. Oh, don't be such. One, two, one, four, five, and nine. There's no five in here. So 
So the five must be over here. No, there's no five here. This is a one nine. So I've broken the puzzle. I pencil marked this entire box incorrectly. I'm actually going to roll back to where I pencil marked this box in there. Because one, two, three, four, five, which I can't put there, six. These are one, six, and nine. There's no six here. This is the six. These are one, five, nine. These are one, four, five, nine. There's no five here. That's better. Yeah, this feels better. Yeah, this is better, but I still don't know how to resolve it. So two, three, four, nine. I can't put two or nine here, giving me a three, four pair, taking three, four out of those. The three is looking up, that the four, that the three. This isn't, this isn't the four, this is the four. This doesn't feel clean. Five is in one of those two. So five is in one of those two. So this is the five. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, seven, and eight. There's no four in those. That's the four. The seven is looking up, making that the eight and that the seven. So eight is in one of those two. Again, this doesn't feel, this feels like it's like, okay, time to do some tricky Sudoku. There's no two seven there. So this is the eight nine, which is fine. There's no seven there. So this is the seven. So these are one, two, eight, nine. So one, two, eight, nine. There's no one. This is the two, because it can't be one, eight, or nine. This is the two, which takes two out of both of those, giving me an eight, nine pair. No, it gives me an eight, nine pair in that box, which makes that the two, which makes that the nine, which means this is the five, the one, and the nine, which means this is the one, the five, and the nine. There's no one here, and I've got a deadly pattern. This is wrong. Hang on, it's saying that this is right, but this is the deadly pattern. There's no way to, oh, no, I have made a mistake. So I've got made mistakes in these pencil marks. So where, oh. so I'm going back to here. One, two, three, four, five. These are two, seven, eight, nine. There's no seven there. This is the seven. This is two, eight, nine. Okay, fine. This column is, okay, there's no eight here. So one, two, one, four, eight, nine. There's no four here. This is the four. I can't put eight or nine. No, this is broken again. What is on the, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, four, nine is what goes in here. This isn't the four, this is the four. The only thing between one and eight is two, which makes that the nine and that the one, which makes that the five and that the nine. It's not, tr it's not complex Sudoku. It's just, you. it's just, yeah, whatever. These are one, two and six. There's no two there. It just doesn't feel like rewarding. The eight looks down, making that the nine. So these are one, three, and eight. There's no one there. The seven makes that the nine and that the seven. There's no seven there. The eight makes that the three, which means this is a one, eight pair. Um, so this is five or six. And it can't be five. So this is the six and this is the five because of the pair looking down. So this isn't the five. Uh, these, the five looks across making that the one, which makes that the nine, which makes that the five. The one takes one out of there. The one makes this the eight, which makes this the one, which makes this the eight. 
hang on, am I down to a deadly pattern again? No, the six looks up making this the two, this the one, this the six, which looks down making this the two. I need to put in a one and a three, and the one makes that the three and that the one. Yeah, okay. Again, um, very nice logic on these. Uh, the Sudoku at the end, I think that the Sudoku at the end being tricky was just the nature of the way these lines worked out. Um, but I found that Sudoku way trickier than... Um, yeah, I just found that Sudoku way trickier. I need to practice my classic Sudoku more. I've actually been solving a lot of puzzles recently for a series, and I may have to abandon the entire series after about 50 hours of recording, which sucks. Um, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, um, thanks everyone for watching, and as always, good luck with your solving.